in case you guys are wondering why I'm swapping out my motherboard on my computer is because these SMD transistors right here they were kind of interfering with the back water block mounting plate and as you can see over here those transistors are kind of out of the way there's actually two on the top over there instead of on the side so when this metal bracket goes right here it's not in the way of hitting this on this side okay so here we go i pretty much have everything back inside the, the case uh these wires that are left they're just for the leds for the um water block and then the reservoir so as you can see i also went ahead and installed a, a thicker radiator right here and then a fan on the back of the case uh, this is temporary. I'm going to eventually get a, a slim fan to go behind this radiator. So I'm just doing this just for now, just to test it out. And also another thing I forgot to mention, the reason why I swapped out this motherboard. You can't really tell oh, back there, but um, I'll zoom in. So right there, you can see the little square MOSFETs right there. They're right in the middle of the screen right now. Pretty much right next to those there were capacitors on the other asus motherboard on this one the capacitors are actually located on a different area of the motherboard so that allows the the cpu block to touch the cpu a lot better before the the water block was kind of resting on the capacitors out of there i'll show you an example so this is the asus motherboard on that ASRock motherboard. These aren't here. They're actually located all in a different area. And then, as you can see, if you put the, the CPU block on there, it's actually going to be blocking it and then restricting the CPU block from touching the actual CPU itself. So I feel like that's why my temperatures were just a little bit warmer than I liked. So hopefully this will uh, fix that. Okay, so here are the final results of um, this motherboard swap out. So as you can see, my highest CPU temperature was 60 degrees, and this is actually without any overclocking going on right now. And the highest frequency was 4.74 and a score of 2780. And um, before when I would run this test with the old ASUS motherboard, I would actually, the thermal throttling would start lighting up yellow. I would start to get nervous and um, I would end up just shutting down the, the computer and I would have I actually ended up undervolting the CPU. So I was losing performance that way just to try to keep the heat down. So all because of those capacitors that were just on that ASUS motherboard, it was kind of uh, just messing everything up. But overall, everything's working good now. Here it is. <laughs> just run a, a slight overclock with the CPU. I'm just going to go up to 5.1 gigahertz with um, no overvolting. So I'm just going to leave the voltage all the same and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so there you go. That's um, the score with the 5.1 gigahertz overclock with the no overvolting. As you can see, we got a 3078 and highest CPU temperature was 73 degrees. It is a little bit warmer, but obviously the CPU is overclocked. I probably, I'm probably not going to leave the CPU clocks this high. I'll probably let it boost up to 5 gigahertz, and then I'll leave it on like a power saving mode so that when I'm not using the, the CPU at its fullest potential, or if I'm not running like special programs, it'll obviously just clock down to a lower clock speed instead of leaving it always clocked at that one speed all the time because uh, it's kind of just a waste of resources. And just in case if you guys were wondering, I just decided to go ahead and run a 3D Mark Time Spy test on it. And uh, I'm going to pause it and then I'll let you know what the end results of the CPU score is. Okay, so there you go. There's the overall Time Spy score, which was about 10,744. And the CPU score was 7,848. Alright, so I've been letting Fortnite run for about um, almost about an hour now. And I know it's not the best game to test, but right now I have everything set to ultra and I'm sitting inside some foliage right now and I'm at 1440p. So um, as you can see, this is the frame rate staying at around 80 FPS right now. And this is pretty much the worst that you can make it go right now with the uh, all the foliage around you. And my temperature hasn't gone above 68 degrees. I've seen it go up to 68, but and then that's it. 
that's um it's actually almost 10 degrees cooler than how the old motherboard ran so i'm a lot happier with that because the cpu is just sending in all that extra heat into the gpu and it was causing everything else to heat up as well and down here you can also see the cpu voltage i mean cpu temperature which is chilling at around 65 degrees celsius and yeah there you go so uh, pretty satisfied with the motherboard swap out so if you do decide to water cool with a mini itx motherboard with um with a 9700k i don't recommend that asus motherboard let me know what you guys think about this video uh leave a comment like and subscribe and yeah stay safe out there